Good morning, this is Kerwin Brown. How can I help you? Hey, I needed to talk to you about a few different things. Uh, have we gotten confirmation with, um, with the governor on coming to the, to the event? Okay, well, we'll follow up on that. And the mayor of, of the various, uh, various surrounding cities? Okay, all right, that's good. Um, I went ahead and looked at the report this morning on the table assignments, so we need to go over that to make sure that it is what it's supposed to be. Okay. I have, uh, we have people coming in from out of town, as you know. Well, Lorenz Tate and, uh, and his people um, are coordinating with, with our event planner. Um, we have the gentleman from Pencil Works, Net, Pencil Works uh, Company. They are uh, planning to come in from Atlanta uh, to give their presentation. So it should be good. No, we, we're having a, a local artist that will be uh, um, showcasing some of his art pieces during the reception. Yeah, no, there will be a, there will be a representation in the VIP area as well. The run of show will be complete by uh, early this week, and we will be able to coordinate that with uh, make sure that that uh, that our chair uh, has an opportunity to review that. All right, very good. And thank you for joining us in the Black Chamber of Arizona at our 18th annual awards banquet. As you've heard, my name is Nicole Davis and I have the pleasure of serving as the vice chair for the chamber and also as this year's dinner chair. Um, this year's focus is on branding as well as recognizing the chamber's business partners who have made an impact in the economic development of our community and have advocated for business growth and development. Uh, but I think it's really important, even though while things are getting heated on the political uh, trail on both sides, whether Democrat or Republican, that we have to remind ourselves, especially among organizations like this, where, uh, who have a common goal and common focus, really to empower and help uh, the black community, that uh, we should always be putting aside the politics. All the time. Uh, with other actors, entertainers, how do you sort of brand yourself? Um, and my brothers and I are sitting here listening to you all, and you guys are hitting on some very key things that we talk about all the time. How do we continue to stay relevant? How do you um, make sure that these conglomerates will get behind what you're doing? And what we decided to do was, you know, if things aren't clicking um, on the TV side or the front of the camera side, we can do things behind them. So we began to branch out, sort of delegate, um, and move around producing and writing our own stories. Um, and, and so uh, when, we, when we talk about the race thing, I, I try not to play the race card uh, in Hollywood, but there's a difference. I mean, we, we, people are talking about you know, Oscars uh, so white right now. Um, and I don't want to get too heavily in, into right. that, but you know, to me, there's a bigger issue in Hollywood as opposed to award shows. It's more about having the opportunity for diversity, for people of color to tell their own stories. Because if you lived outside of America and you turn on the television and you see only one group of people, you would think that's a representation of that country in itself, and it's not true. How this becomes relevant, so bringing it all the way back to us, is he talked about the Kanye West and the Drakes of the world, and everybody knows about Kevin Hart's recent rise to prominence and what he's doing in his movies and that kind of thing. But one of the things that happens is, is we kind of have to, as business owners, and this is not directed at African Americans exclusively, this is directed at entrepreneurs. As business owners in the same space, you have to build your own following and infrastructure. The way he spoke about Kanye and these guys who are getting those parts and the rappers that get those parts is because the people who run the machine race not relevant, but the people who run the machine are looking to make the most bang for their buck. They don't care what color you are, they care about dollars and cents. And if they don't think that what you're bringing to the table is going to affect the bottom line the right way, they're not going to bring you to the table. 
it's really just that cut and dry. So how do you overcome that? What type and of things do you do? And that's how Sherrod and I met. Understand. We want to focus on branding tonight. So when you talk about branding, it's very simple. It's how you communicate your value to the market. If you go to Starbucks, some people like the taste, some people don't. Some people think they're high priced, some people don't agree, right? It's all about the value. So when you develop a company or you have a product or a service, what is the value? What makes you different? What are you offering the market? And when you communicate that properly, you allow people to choose why they want to do business with you over the over competitor. We take for an example Walmart. Sherrod just mentioned Walmart. Who shops at Walmart? All right. Only place I know that you can go at 3 a.m. and get ribs, a bra, and soap at the same time, right? Very unique position, right? And so this is Walmart. Their position is large quantity, low price, 24 hours, a lot of locations, right? And when you're talking about your company being inside of a market, you don't go into business. You go into an industry, right? And when you go into an industry... My name like is Alan A.P. Powell, founder of Checker Flag Run Foundation, chairman and CEO of APN Associates LLC here in Phoenix, Arizona. I want to thank uh, Arizona Black Chamber for recognizing APN Associates for their Corporate Star Award this year. I also want to look back on the conjunction with the Black Chamber on behalf of our company and our foundation where we actually were able to do some substantial stuff in our community. Last year we did two My Brother's Keepers events that were very successful. Uh, we also served. This is such an incredible honor being recognized by the Black Chamber of Arizona for this award. Here at Allstate, we pride ourselves in being trusted advisors to our clients and good hands in our community. Throughout the year, we've contributed to several foundations and causes that are near and dear to our hearts. The Sickle Cell Disease Foundation, Black Girls Rock, Kerry Washington and Allstate's Purple Purse Foundation, just to name a few. Most recently, I've been asked exactly how has my agency been. First of all, let me begin by saying thanks to the board and staff of the Arizona Chamber, Black Chamber for selecting me for this award. The 2016 Chairman's Choice Award is something that uh, I am very pleased to have received, although I must admit that I don't know that receiving awards has not been my f focus. I couldn't do it by myself, and uh, I have to give thanks also to my team as well as to my family for helping me to carry on those things that I have been able to carry on in, in, in terms of making this award possible. I'm also very pleased with the kind of relationship that has been established between the Arizona Black Chamber. One individual that we didn't thank, and that's Kerwin Brown, our president and our CEO. And so if you will give Kerwin a great round of applause, please. Thank you so much. Many of you do not realize it is a chamber. We are blessed to have so many that support our efforts. They do it in a pro bono. I want you to know that uh, we talked about it being a wild ride. That, you know, the chamber is always going to be, be a, a service organization. We are here because we serve. We serve to help build um, to help build businesses, especially small businesses. We look to make those small businesses large businesses. And uh, we also serve the community. As part of that uh, community effort, we were able uh, to grant scholarships. Um, last October, I believe it was, I had an opportunity to go down to, um, to Tucson to a luncheon where we presented five uh, students from the University of Arizona uh, scholarships as part of a $50,000 uh, scholarship match. They each got $5,000 each, and this spring there will be another five that the Black Chamber of Arizona will present with $5,000 each to everyone from, like I said, um, APS, Cox, everyone from uh, PetSmart, uh, Wells Fargo, SSP, Allstate, HMS Hosts, Copper Point, Edward Jones, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona, the Phoenix Suns, the Phoenix Aviation, to Health Choice, to Take Charge America, my buddies down in Tucson as we broaden our footprint, PPEP, SRP, the City of Phoenix, Maricopa Community Colleges, CenturyLink, Aetna, and Hinkle, Southwest Airlines. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, what an amazing experience it's been for me to be here. Phoenix came out, you know, the Black Chamber of Arizona, amazing uh, event. They had great awards, um, uh, all these uh, you know, influential people in one room. I was just happy to be up there to be the master of ceremonies. I'm uh, happy that they invited me out. I had a great time. We had some incredible speakers that are telling about what's going on in the world today, in the, in the marketplace, um, what perception is. Uh, I've learned a lot. <laughs> I was one of the students uh, listening to LaVon and Sherrard talk, and, um, and what an incredible event. And I just hope that they can continue to do what they're doing here in the city of Phoenix, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. All right, very good. Is there anything else? No, I think we're, we're on track. We'll make sure that it works the way it's supposed to work. Good job. Thank you much. Take care.